Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have my stationery subscription box to open up for you. So if you don't already know, um, I actually started my stationery subscription box with a roomie. So this is me and this is a roomie. <laughs> um, a probably, I think it was around March this year and we've already released two subscription boxes. So this is the third one. So this is the first time you guys will see the whole subscription box opened. Um, and I haven't even seen it yet because all the products goes to a roomie's house over in South Australia. And then she makes the box up and sends it to me to then do the unboxing video online. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, this is so adorable. Now we have our little thank you card. Um, last month, a few of you might have realized that thank was spelt wrong. <laughs> we had a few people message us and we just flipped two of the um, letters around. So we thought that was hilarious, but we're not going to be making that mistake again. And I'm also putting it out there on the internet again that we'd made a mistake. <laughs> so um, yeah, now it's spelt correctly and we thought that was a pretty funny thing that happened. Um, this is the My Stationery Pack. Sorry, this is the My Happy Mail Pack. Um, we've got little packs and then we've got the boxes. So I'll open that one up afterwards. And then this is so cute. So we've got even our little stickers that say, um, thank you for your order. And it's us again on a little sticker. So Arumi didn't pack this one fully because I still need to take photos of it. But this is so cute. Oh my goodness, look, let's see if I can hold that up, can I get like a, okay, very very cute, okay, I think I love these cards the most out of all the paper products we've done, um, I don't know, they just turned out so well and I don't want to ever send them, I think I just want to keep these in my collection. <gasps> And that's so lovely. I just love this color palette and just all the little images. Oh, I should say this theme is our Japan theme. So we worked with a feature illustrator. So it says who we work with each um, quarter. So Rhiannon is the person who did all of the Japanese illustrations for us. A Rumi, you can see her style. It's pretty distinct. So she did all like the sushi illustrations. Um, and then I help um, Arumi with obviously all the business stuff. So all the creative info will be on the back of our thank you card. Um, we have some really cool products in here. So this time around we have three large products. So not always, um, there's not always going to be stationary in these boxes. So we have um, a little clip. So I'll show you that one. And a roomie's actually printed out these little labels that say, please remove the protection, uh, the protective film layer before use. So each of our products actually manufacture, like when they come in, they come in these little um, plastic bags. So we don't want to dispose of the bags and do new packaging because um, we're trying to reduce packaging as much as possible. So we thought we'd just keep it um, in the little bags just to keep it safe. Now, um, when you get them, you'll just need to peel off this top layer. So it's like a little film layer. And then they'll be all good to go and just ensures that they don't scratch. This is so cute. So you pop that one like on your journal to keep the pages open, um, or you could really pop it anywhere. This one is a roomie's design. Again, you just need to take off the little film layer, but I'll do that one in a second. It's a little sushi. And it's a little pin so we can go on anywhere. I think I'm going to put this one on my tote bag. And then this one's Rhiannon's design. And this one is a little keychain. And we thought this would be perfect for journaling. Um, I add all my little keychains to like my, um, my little journals. I'll do little close-ups of all these. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to have large die cut stickers in every um, box. So these are all Rhiannon's designs and they actually turned out so well. Is there another one? I thought we did four. Yeah, we did do four. 
So there's two like shiny ones. Um, and yeah, Aromi just does such a good job at cutting these. And then also the matte ones. I think I like the matte ones the best. I'm gonna have to do a full Japan spread to use these ones. It's very, very cute. And then we have the sticker sheets. So we've got the little ones. Um, this is Rhiannon. Um, these are her illustrations. And it's just multiple because we realize that sticker sheets, when you only have one sticker in each sheet, like one different sticker in each sheet, you tend to hoard it rather than use it. So we wanted to make sure that you've got multiple stickers that you can use. You can also cut these in strips and you can gift them um, if you're going to put, put in them in like pen pal letters and things like that. So we just thought this was a good idea to have multiple stickers on a sheet so you can actually use them um, instead of hoarding them. We also have the bigger version. So um, we also thought it'd be nice just to have a bigger version. And oh my goodness, the quality of these stickers are so good. We've just found the best manufacturer for these. And I actually love the mat. And then this last one is a Rumi's illustrations. So when you're actually going through the box, um, have a look at the name at the bottom just to see who did what. And then we also have like the socials at the bottom too. Um, so if you want to go check out these lovely ladies designs on Instagram, do follow them. Lastly, we've got our memo pad and I don't know if we had this in the last box. I think we had memo sheets in the last box and then we decided that we wanted to go the pad. Um, and it's just so adorable. So we actually stuck to the sushi train theme that Arumi did and we actually made the memo pad look like it was one of those little plates that you would pick up at sushi train. Very, very cute. Oh, I just absolutely love this box. Everything turned out perfectly. There was no mistakes or errors. All the colors worked and all the items like are really, really good quality. Lastly, we've got the cards again. I think this has to be one of my favorite um, like paper items we've made. So it comes with two envelopes. I didn't realize we were gonna give out envelopes. That's a nice touch. And then the card quality is just so good. Um, so this one's, you make me so happy. <laughs> I just love this one so much. And then it's just got our little um, logo at the bottom at the back. Very, very cute. And then you're my soy mate. And then it took us a while. We wanted them to be looking at each other. So we did like little eyes and the blushing cheeks and things like that. So um, we thought this would be like, it could be perfect for lots of different reasons. Um, we didn't want specific ones for like celebrations like birthdays or Christmas or anything. We wanted them quite generic. So you make me so happy and um, you're my soy mate can be for lots of different things. So happy with the cards and how they turned out. Um, the reason I'm like focusing on the cards is because I actually haven't seen, we haven't made cards before. So this is the first time seeing the quality of these. Um, and then yeah, the washi tapes. I'll do a close up of those ones now for you. Um, but basically we've got the sushis on the checkered print and then we have soy happy. We really wanted to work with the puns this time around because um, we love a good pun and then we also just wanted to give like a really simple pattern we thought it'd be nice to actually make a simple pattern because a lot of our other washi tapes all have patterns in um sorry they all have prints on them so to keep one just a pattern we thought would be really nice especially because it matches our colors perfectly of this whole collection and um I tend to use washi tapes that just have a simple pattern a lot more than ones that have a print. Um, so let us know if you do receive the box, what your favorite items are, what you're loving, what you think we could potentially change up. Um, like I said, we'll have mystery items each quarter. So ones that will change up all the time and then we'll have our basics. So we'll have our die cuts and our sticker sheets and our washi tapes that will come out as per usual. Um, and then we'll mix up the other products so you never really know what's going to be inside of our box. I'm so happy with this collection. It turned out perfectly. 
Um, I absolutely love working with Arumi. Um, I think the quality and the illustrations and everything coming together looks fantastic. So if you haven't already, our box, I'll put our um, website in the description box below. And um, yeah, go check it out. If you haven't already subscribed, go subscribe. We've got a really, really colorful box next quarter. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I should give the theme away, although we're probably going to announce it soon anyway. It's going to be like a rainbow kawaii, like, breakfast theme, I want to say. So if that's a theme that you think you would love, go subscribe. Um, and there's a lot more of these still available, so you can go purchase them. They will be available until January, and then that's when um, shipping ends for this box. We will also have pass boxes up soon, so we'll have mixed pass boxes. But if there's any products you like from our pass boxes, you want to buy them separately, um, send us an email. We might still have one or two floating around that we can send your way. All right, thanks for watching. And I don't know if I mentioned at the start of this video, but this is the last video. I'm moving to Sydney next year. And um, yeah, I'm packing up this entire room so I won't have my camera or my tripod or my light or any of these desks or stationery anymore. So I hope that I'm going to be making a lot more videos next year when I open up my craft cafe. Um, if you haven't followed my story about opening up a craft cafe, I've been popping a few little sneak peeks on Instagram, but I'm gonna be vlogging the whole setup of the craft cafe next year. I am planning on opening the Craft Cafe April 9th, which is my birthday, um, but it's also the first day of the school holidays um, for next year. So yeah, I will talk to you um, next year. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.